Hi, I'm Gunnar Siasen. I have cystic fibrosis and a feeding tube. Thank you for watching the fifth and final episode of the Own Your Feeding Tube video series. This video was made possible by an unrestricted educational grant by Nestle Health Science to the Boomer Siasen Foundation. This video, Success with the Feeding Tube, will show how I'm able to thrive more than three years after having my feeding tube placed. I was 20 years old and in college when my G2 was placed. I'm now 24 and have seamlessly transitioned to the working world despite having both cystic fibrosis and a feeding tube. Nothing within the Own It video series should be considered medical advice. Such advice can only be given by a physician who is experienced with cystic fibrosis. The Boomer Esiason Foundation, Gunner, and contributors to the Own It video series cannot be held responsible for any damage, which may result from using the information on this video without permission of your medical doctor. So I, in college, I, you know, I had, I had four roommates by the time I had the feeding tube placed. And to be honest with you, despite having cystic fibrosis and a feeding tube, I always wanted to have roommates. I wanted to have the real college experience. I wanted to, to you know, live the college life that I saw in movies and on TV. And I definitely think that I did. In the coaching world, the feeding tube has definitely helped me in a few ways. Uh, I'm always on my feet and I'm always interacting with kids. And, and as we know, schools and large public gatherings are not really the safest place for for someone with cystic fibrosis because of the colds, the viruses that can spread. So, uh, you know, I felt like I've had a little more protection because of the extra nutrition that I'm getting. But beyond that, I'm also getting more energy. And as I'm always on my feet all day and hockey practice and moving around on my skates, I, I really try to, you know, get as much nutrition as I can. You know, I've, my skin's gotten fuller, it's gotten brighter, it's gotten more colorful. It's, uh, I've, you know, my acne has somewhat gone away. I think I still have a little bit. When it comes to the working world, you know, it's no secret that I have cystic fibrosis. I mean, I'm, I'm here on camera talking about it. So I, uh, I don't hide it. And you know, if, if it's one of those things while I'm at the office and I need to get quick extra 500 calories, then I'll just do it. You know, there's nothing really holding me back. I've accepted who I am and, and I've accepted what I need to, to really live a full life. I think it goes without saying that there are some major benefits to having a feeding tube. I've experienced that. I've, I had more energy. I feel better. I. You know, fighting off infection, I fight off colds and like a little more, you know, a little more ease. I, uh, you know, my recovery time has definitely gone down. I could have a big day. I could, you know, I play two, you know, I go to a hockey tournaments and I could play two games in a day, and the next day I still feel fine because I'm replacing the calories that I've lost, and I'm, I'm building up the energy, and I, I feel like, um, although I, you know, I appear to be thin, but I definitely still have some muscle mass on me. If you're thinking about getting a feeding tube, it's definitely a discussion for you and your doctor. Uh, you know, I'm one example of, of how it's been. I'm definitely happy that I had that discussion with, you know, not one doctor. I had I had it with several doctors. So I try to I try to, you know, do what I can to make myself as as healthy as possible. And when it comes down to it, I'd, I'd rather be a healthy person than sitting in a hospital bed. So uh, that's the only way I'm gonna be able to live my life. It's, it's if I'm out there and I'm full of energy and and healthy. You know, I have traveled with the feeding tube. It can be done. There's just different uh, steps you have to go through to do it. You know, it's definitely one of those things where you have to check with the airline you're flying on. Uh, there's a little background homework you have to do where you can store the formula, you know, how warm or cold the formula can be. You know, I've traveled with the formula several times. Um, you know, I've, I've even gotten out of the country with it. So it's, it's, it hasn't been a big deal. It's just like traveling with any sort of medication. You know, there's just a lot that goes into it and uh, it's, it, it can be done. My feeding tube is going to be in for an indefinite amount of time. Um, you know, as of right now, I, I enjoy having the feeding tube. It doesn't really inconvenience me in any way. But when I do decide to have it taken out, they just take it right out and they stitch up the wound and then it's over. Got questions for Gunner? Send them to us. If you're on Facebook, you can send them to us at facebook.com slash Foundation. You can Twitter us at twitter.com slash cystic fibrosis or twitter.com slash G17 Esiason. And you can also send an email to Gunner at gunnersblog at esiason.org. When Gunner answers your question, we'll credit you. So get busy and send them in.